So I finished my first cup and as a result, my hands are cold again. And I think the only solution to this is to keep drinking hot wine. So I am back at the Atlanta airport and I am taking a Christmas markets trip to Europe and seeing the Christmas markets in Europe has been my bucket list for the longest time. So when I got the Thrifty Traveler premium alert that there is a $400 flight nonstop from Atlanta to Frankfurt on Delta, I had to jump on it. So I am flying into Frankfurt and I'll be using train travel to go to different towns in that region to see different Christmas markets. I'll be going Going to Strasbourg, Colmar, Heidelberg, and Cologne. So super excited about this solo trip to see some Christmas markets. It looks like it's going to be really chilly this week and that it's going to snow. So it's good and bad and I struggle packing jackets and sweaters and just a carry-on but somehow I did manage to do it. Um, but it is definitely very stuffed. So I have my camera, my laptop, and some accessories in my backpack and then the rest of the suitcase is jacket sweater so it was definitely pretty hard packing but I managed to do it. Can't wait to take you all along to the different markets with me. So I've made it to Frankfurt. Frankfurt was actually the first European airport I had ever been to. That was when I studied abroad in Poland, Italy. I had a flight from Atlanta to Frankfurt and then Frankfurt to Krakow. So it's kind of crazy being back here at the Frankfurt airport. Um, I didn't get too much sleep, honestly. It's about 9 a.m. here in Frankfurt now, but I don't feel too bad yet. But the best thing to do for jet lag is to stay up and act like this is your time zone now. So I just made it to my hotel here in Frankfurt and I am staying in the city center for convenience. And it wasn't bad getting here from the airport at all. All I had to do was take a train from the airport to one of the stations nearby and then it was a three minute walk. So all in all, not too bad. Um, this actually is my first time in Frankfurt as well. So I'm really excited to check out what all the city has to offer. Um, I got a chicken schnitzel because I felt like it was very fitting for that being my first meal and that was the best chicken schnitzel I've had in my life. I don't know what they did but they did it right and I got the famous Frankfurt green sauce which is this creamy vegetable sauce paired with it and it was delicious. I highly recommend checking out that cafe if you visit Frankfurt. Then I explored Old Town Frankfurt before grabbing an early dinner and I tried some local beer and schnitzel mushroom sauce and it was absolutely delicious. Now it's time to visit my first Christmas market ever. Everything was so magical and I felt like I was in a movie. There was so much food and drinks and I wanted to try everything. I ended up getting the hot chocolate to keep me warm. I really only have one full day in Frankfurt so I woke up bright and early today to start the day. And this is the Christmas market when it is in the morning and it's closed so much less crowded than you saw. I'm actually headed to Strasbourg today so going to France. Thank you. 
So somehow I'm the only person in the car of my train right now, which is a little bizarre, but I guess I'm pretty early. So I've made it to Strasbourg and it was only a two hour train ride from Frankfurt, so pretty easy trip. Um, Strasbourg is actually known as the Christmas capital of the world and it goes all out around this time. And so I'm really excited to see Strasbourg for myself. I've seen so many photos and videos on social media already, but I'm hoping that the real thing is even better. <laughs> It was so much fun just walking around Strasbourg and seeing all the different Christmas areas they have. They have so many beautiful spots and honestly, it was just great to walk around. Starting out this morning, exploring a different area of Strasbourg called Petit France before the Christmas markets open, and it is such a charming part of town. So there's so much at these Christmas markets you can buy. It ranges from food to goods to products. So there's lots of cool finds here, but I'm all about the food. Just made my first food purchase, and it is this bread called Manel here, shaped like a little person. I'm gonna try it out. If you're visiting a Christmas market in the Strasbourg area, you have to try a Big Sean. It is their signature drink, and I got the red, so it is a warm red wine. And I'll have to try it out. Cheers! It's very good. It also keeps my hand really warm, so I might just keep getting this just to stay warm. So I made it to my accommodation in Komar and the scariest thing happened. Um, I was just not prepared and this is one of the things about solo traveling is that you always need to make sure that your phone is charged. Um, so I'm not staying in a hotel, this is actually a private apartment rental. I have the whole place to myself which is really great and it's actually in an amazing location. The main square is just right outside my window which is a surprise to me and I'm really happy about it. But when I got here, um, the code wasn't working and in the end it was, I just didn't know how to open the door correctly, but my phone died in the middle of me trying to contact the host. And so I was stuck outside the apartment, panicking, not knowing what to do since I could not get in the apartment and I could not charge my phone anywhere. I thankfully had a very nice lady next door and I rung the bell and she came out and she could speak English and I begged her to let me charge my phone. But yes, solo travel tip, never, ever, ever let your phone die when you're not in a place to charge it. I am so excited to eat. No, I'm impossible. So 
woke up bright and early to explore Strasbourg, and funny enough, I ran into four other people I know from Instagram, and it's just so funny that we just flocked to these cute towns for the Christmas season together. Exploring another French town today, and this is actually the town that inspired me. get a crepe in France. If you're visiting Colmar, I highly recommend taking day trips to these charming towns around Colmar. These towns in the Alsace region of France are all super charming and worth a visit. Grabbing breakfast at a cozy breakfast place before heading to the train station to transfer to Heidelsberg. It is a big transit day today as I go from Colmar to Heidelberg and my first train from Colmar to Strasbourg was delayed and I was super worried since the connection is really short but now my second train to Karlsruhe is also delayed which is good. Um, let's just hope my third and final train from Karlsruhe to Heidelberg is also delayed so I can make all of them. Trains do get delayed while traveling through Europe and that's perfectly normal but I absolutely do love train travel and I think it's the best way to get around. I thankfully made all three of my trains today and I'm now here in Heidelberg. Also the first building I really see in this town is a Chinese restaurant. I made it to my hotel in Heidelberg and it is quite a cozy room but it is in a centuries old building, um, part of a main square so this is really unique and I have a knight guarding my door, which is pretty cool. But as you see, it's pretty small, but just enough for one night, and plus the location is so convenient. As you see, it's not a big room, but perfect for just one night in the city center. This is the knight that is guarding my room. How cool is this? So I finished my first cup and as a result my hands are cold again. I think the only solution to this is to keep drinking hot wine, which I'll get another cup. Today was a day I was supposed to get here in Cologne at 1 o'clock. I ended up getting here at 3.45. Um, the original train from Heidelberg to Cologne got a delay for an hour, so the transit people helped me find another train. So I, instead I took a train from Heidelberg 
to Mannheim first to get an earlier train to help take me to Cologne. And I'm glad I did that because I found out later that my original train actually got canceled. But while I was waiting for my connecting train from Mannheim to Cologne, it was also delayed for a few hours. And then we got on a train track, we got delayed again because there's nothing wrong with the train. So we had to stop to make sure that we could keep going. So overall, heck of a travel day. I didn't get here till super late. So now I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. It's that time on trip where I have to get a I love the portion size here. Like this is one portion of the pad thai and it looks so good. I'm really excited. That's really good. I can't believe I covered all these Christmas markets in a week and each had something unique to offer. If I had to rank from the best Christmas markets, in my opinion, it goes Cologne, Strasbourg, Heidelberg, Frankfurt, and then Colmar.